Hi, happy Wednesday. Welcome. It's Javi Rappaport here in Torah today, as relevant today as ever. Am I alive, truly alive, vibrant, or am I just existing, going through the motions? Yaakov Be'eret Mitzrayim Shiva Esrei Shana. This week's Torah portion begins by letting us know Yaakov lived vibrant, his most vital years, 17 years now in Mitzrayim. When the Tzemach Tzedek, the third Chabad Rebbe, was a little child, he was really perturbed. And he approached his grandfather, the Alter Rebbe, the first Chabad Rebbe, and said, How could it be? A tzaddik like Yaakov found his best years and his aliveness in decadent Mitzrayim, low and immoral, when previously he had been living in the Holy Land, Eretz Yisrael. How is that possible? His father patted him on the head. Very good question. And here is the truth. Yaakov, before he entered that low, immoral place of Egypt, he first sent Yehuda ahead of everybody else to establish places for Torah study. So when he came down to Mitzrayim, to Egypt, there was an establishment of Torah, a thriving place, and the joy and the vibrancy of being able to connect with the Torah, with truth, notwithstanding all the surrounding evil and moral corruption, and rising above it and working through it and remaining so closely connected, that made Yaakov feel truly alive, and seeing his sons immersed and following the same life. And there's another fascinating insight. When are we truly, truly alive? You know when? When we're challenged. When I have to stand up and fight for what I believe in and think about what is my stand here, that's when I become really alive and connected with myself. There's another fascinating little story about this chassid, this disciple of the Alter Rebbe again, who was granted a gift by the Alter Rebbe. And he said, I will give you the gift of long life. And he immediately stopped the Alter Rebbe and said, one second, only if it's a life that can see, that can hear and perceive godliness, God's presence, God's awareness and connection. So what makes us truly alive? Ba'atem hadvekim ba'ashem alokechem chayim you really want to be alive? It's when we cleave and connect with Hashem. And you know why? Because when you do that, you're connecting with the truest part of yourself. And this is a good time to ask ourselves, is my Judaism alive? Is it what invigorates me? Do I communicate with God, experience, experience Him in my day, take Him along with me in my interactions, in my decisions? Is He a part of my life, really, on an ongoing basis? Here are some thoughts to enhance that connection. Here are some of my thoughts. Maybe we take a few minutes every day to think about the kindnesses that Hashem does for me, for you, personally, connecting to me and wanting to be there for me. Or maybe take the time to pray, to really pray. I don't mean just pick up a prayer book and say the words, to connect with a personal prayer, Speak to God in your own language, your own thoughts, your own prayers. And then, of course, take the time to learn the wisdom and connect with the essence of Hashem, of God. Of course, by learning Torah. 
And the purpose of knowledge is really to connect with God, to be alive in that sense, and then, of course, to pass it on, to share it with others. And so let's say, L'chaim, to a life of vitality, this is the life. Have a beautiful day.